Hello everyone, and what's my intention? We've got the beat step back stage video as well as the stage and Jackie behind, and we also have the step back live in SM Town talk through day three. Those three videos were requested by KNDSC15 over on Patreon, the legend here. Thanks a lot for supporting me over on Patreon. Uh, this will be my first time checking out Girls on Top, so I'm really excited, especially since uh, some members here are actually my biases in their own groups. Like I have my bias from Red Velvet is here, my bias tracker from Espa, and my bias from Sonia Shide. I did really enjoy, you know, uh, Boa as well. I did check her three weeks ago when she was performing. I forgot the name of the song, but she was performing with Ning Ning and uh, Wendy. I love that performance. Uh, but yeah, and if you guys are interested, I do react to Espa and uh, Sonia Shide a lot over on Patreon, quite frequently, more than other groups. If you guys would like to support me over there. As far as Red Velvet goes, I'm planning soon on catching up if, YouTube's, uh, if YouTube allows me to because currently with YouTube, uh, it's not promoting my videos. So yeah, I kind of don't want to do Red Velvet reactions if they are going to be underperforming a lot because something is happening with my channel for the past month. I'm trying to wait for everything to be resolved before, you know, continuing reactions. But it might not, that day might not happen. So uh, I would just wait before Red Velvet's comeback. I believe it's in November. If uh, my channel is still dealing some issues, I would just, you know, release a big uh, Red Velvet reaction. But yeah, and I'm kind of interested in checking out Bo one day. You know, I think I would do that. We loved her vocals last time. But now, anyway, let's check out Step Back Stage Studio. Oh. Hey. You must step back out there, out there, No gummy, no put up on our take your it's a miss of Milana going to get your car. I'm money up your love. Oh, the vocals. Wow, Wendy. Next level? Yes. Oh, they look so fierce. Dancing queen. Oh. Yo, they are serving! Like when did this do? My god! Say bridge in the background. That's kind of cool. Your rap was fire! Girls, bring it on! Oh? What?
So cool. The play ended. And this does look like a theater. Anyway, guys, wow. Like, it's a stage video, so I think I can mention their stage presence. They look so fierce, their facial expressions, the way they were moving their eyes. Especially, I think I did notice the most Leon and Wendy Sulgi. I mean, everyone, they ate that. And my god, I think if any other group did this, they wouldn't be able to pull this off. Like, I think the main reason why I ended up liking it, surprisingly, is man, their vocals. They slayed, man. And by the way, I want to ask, how did they pick which members are going to be in uh, up the beat? Is it main vocalist and main dancer from each group outside of Boa, of course? Uh, but uh, Ning Ning is not here. Like, she wasn't chosen to be part of this. Sulgi, she's the main dancer, right? And then we have Wendy, main vocal. So I guess it might be like that, or maybe the most, uh, the two most popular member from each group got called since Wendy is, uh, since Ningning is not here. But man, they killed it. That was so good. I think this song will also grow on me because I'm gonna be listening to it again, especially to hear their vocals. And since I'm gonna be checking out a live uh, uh, video here, I'm gonna be really enjoying uh, it even more. But anyway, check out the behind the scenes. I'm gonna see them interact with each other. Maybe I'm gonna get some bias interactions. Oh, I have to put it 1080 so it doesn't lag. <laughs> now fans who have Sylvia as their bias and Karina as their bias are shaking. Aww. Did you see they on? Making sure that Wendy is included here. <laughs> it feels like Wendy is really shy here. Whoa. I do have to say something. Karina! And Winter, I think at that time they were kind of like members from a rookie group, right? Espa was a rookie group. They don't really seem that they're affecting, you know, got the beat, girls on top at all. They were kind of on the same level, in my opinion. They were doing quite well, like they are experienced idols. Like a first gen idol, she kind of looks the same age as them. They don't look so different in variety shows and reality shows compared to when she's performing. They look so good, so we are drinking. 
I'm thirsty. Thirsty by Aspa. The sun's growing on me up. <laughs> so fast. Stay on. Say hi to us. <laughs> her dog didn't recognize her. Who are you? Very different than when you are at home. <laughs> Winter has a really cute and shy <laughs> smile. <laughs> I imagine they also did a recording behind, right? Good job! Wow, oh my god. <laughs> I'm not gonna survive this jacket behind. Visual after visual. Oh, I love this song just because of their vocals, man. Wow, why am I tuning up, bro? Job. I love that outfit on winter. Gorgeous. Winter, yep, put The hair color suits her. It's mine. She feels cold. I guess because they have the fan on her, right? Yeah. So professional, though. Danger, I'm in danger. Oh, 
Can't imagine how like oh they did a long time ago. I can't imagine how tiring her career has has been, but I'm sure you know she's passionate about this and she has been enjoying every minute of it. Except for you know the hate that she gets or like every idol gets usually and stuff like that. Wow. Oh my god. Biceps. This song is gonna be stuck in my head. <laughs> you know, I'll be honest here, uh, I don't really like the girl crush concept that much because they are quite similar, you know, you can be creative with it. I guess it's like one concept, you know, I guess doing it, adding something else, it might be a different concept. But like, I do remember, I'm not sure if when this was released, but around at the end of 2019, 2020, when I was getting into K-pop more and more, yeah, I was kind of done with the girl crush concept because everyone was doing it at that time. I was so over it. You know, the long nails, uh, flashy outfits, is that uh, like those vibrant outfits or flashy outfits? Uh, so, yeah, I mean, nowadays, I think some groups are still doing it or like some groups that did different things are doing it now. And I'm like, okay, this is, this. Is, I mean, they look good, you know, the members look good, but I kind of wish it was a different concept. Here, like, man, they look so fierce, like their facial expressions when they are taking the photo shoot. They look amazing, but like deep down, oh, this is another girl crush concept, if that makes sense. Like they could have done a mature concept or, I don't know, something different, like elegant concept. But for the song, you know, I understand why they did this, by the way. I think with the song, like a mature concept would fit as well. I'm not sure. <laughs> It looks so good. So is this the only behind the scenes that they did? Maybe they did behind for the recording? Time for the live uh, speech. By the way, there are there is a storm outside, so if you hear anything, that's the storm. Let's go. I think we can go now. So, by the way, I know like got the shouldn't be got the beat, not got the best. Uh, this is Girls on Top, right? So is the official name just Girls on Top or like is it Girls on Top the beat? So it says like got the beat, like which one is their official name? I guess since the music video it said got the beat, I imagine the album also said got the, got the beat, but their YouTube, is their Twitter also Girls on Top? Quite curious about that, but yeah, let's go. I 
that dream. I imagine this is the clean part where they do the two hands on their head. I love how unique Sulki's voice is compared to the others. You can easily tell when she's the one singing. Hey, Winter! I love that bridge. You know, this kind of reminds me like this song would fit Espa. You know, this is how Espa songs sound like usually. They are them! Let's go! Day 8, man, man uh, I'm starting to really, really love this song, it's gonna be stuck in my head, but yeah, I'm not sure if I said it, but this makes me realize also why Wendy is my bias in Red Velvet, like it's been a long time, a few months since I've checked Red Velvet, I'm kind of waiting for it to come back to continue and check out some of their previous stuff, but like, man, I love her vocals. I love, 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 love her vocals. She's one of my favorite vocalists in K-pop. But yeah, they killed it. And uh, from what I've heard, like this song was pretty popular when it came out. It has a lot of views as well. I think their newer comeback didn't do as well. But anyway, what do you guys think? Do you guys like Step Back? Uh, would you love uh, more, you know, songs from them? Would you like to see other members from those groups? You know, like Joy, for example. Also, who else? Like, uh, I don't know, like Tiffany, I guess, Sohyun. I think she would do great. Like another SM powerhouse group. I would love to see that. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Go check out over on Patreon for some Espa and Sonia Shida reactions. And I will be back really soon for an SM type of reaction like Espa, Red Velvet, Sonia Shida. And maybe, you know, one day I'll be checking out Boa. That's for sure. See you guys next time. Bye bye.